Another hot button uh, question that's coming across the uh, comment section there is about sanctuary cities mm -hmm. and the whole federal law enforcement versus, you know, California being California. So wh where does our county kind of line up in that? And what's your what are your thoughts about working with the federal agency? And well, right right now, our county is I mean, we have to abide by the state law that I mm -hmm. mean, that's what the law of of our state is. So you've got these other communities that are voting to opt out of it sure. um you know they're they're charter cities that uh that are able to do that they're not really bound by uh the state legislature uh where a uh our county we we kind of are i mean we have a little bit of leeway but not as much as a charter uh so the cities can opt out the county it's going to be a lot more difficult for them to opt out uh, I don't know where they stand. I, I was shown an email from one of our Board of Supervisors the other day that uh, it appeared that it would be a 3-2 vote in favor of sanctuary cities. And they blamed it on the sheriff because they said that the sheriff has not told them that it poses any threat to the communities or involves law enforcement or anything else, which I think is just flat-out ridiculous. That's, that's more of a reason that should tell everyone that he should not be the sheriff. Mm -hmm. uh, because for anyone to say that the sanctuary state law protects us and provides a safety mechanism for us is that is just completely not true. Uh, you know, they, they called it a sanctuary city law because it sounds good. I mean, that's not what it's it was. Branding. It basic, yeah, absolutely, it's branding. Yeah. Absolutely. And misleading. Yeah. So people think it's a, it's a good thing. And, uh, for, and, and maybe help me better understand this because it seems like, uh, what you're just saying right there with the sanctuary label is it sounds like it's a nice safe haven right, oh, right. for illegal immigrants and stuff like right. that the reality is law enforcement in california does not enforce immigration laws anyway mm -hmm. i mean that is the federal government's responsibility mm -hmm. now we don't have we're fighting for manpower and we're fighting for monies to go out and just do regular service so we don't we certainly aren't going to use our limited resources doing something that the federal government is doing already. Right. But with that, we have to have cooperation with federal agencies. We have to know what they're doing and they have to know what we're doing. And as the sheriff, uh, you know, where it really comes into play for us is uh, as the sheriff when is releasing inmates. So when a criminal is sentenced to jail, sentenced to prison, and now they're, they're sentenced in county jail, whatever it is, they're in our custody and their time is up. If they're illegal, what should happen is you call the federal government and you say, I have an illegal mm -hmm. person in our country mm -hmm. that is getting ready to be released because he served his time, you need to come and get him. That should be what's happening. And that's what the sanctuary state law prevents is us from telling the federal government, ICE in particular, to that we are releasing a, a convicted felon uh, into society. Now, morally, as a, as a law enforcement officer, as a dad, uh, as a husband, as a cop, as, as, as you can come up with anything, uh, how you would describe me, I cannot. If I have a tool to keep the community safe rather than release a child molester who just because he served his time back into your neighborhood – or mm -hmm. call ICE and have them deported because that's another tool at my disposal. Uh, that is where there's the failure in this law. And that's what where I would have uh, the responsibility of, of making sure he went back. Now you have these you have sheriffs that are standing up and doing the right thing. And they are uh, they're They're finding loopholes in the law and they're moving around it. So they're they're legally off the hook. They don't have to actually break the, the state law and they're finding ways around it. We're not doing that here. I mean, our sheriff has no desire to right. to try and really keep us safe because to him, everything is political. Everything is about whether or not he's going to get elected again. It's not it's not about public safety. It's not about my safety. It's not about your safety. It's about his election. About ensuring the election. That's right. right. And yeah. so if he's going to offend somebody that may be voting, he's not going to have an opinion on it. And we've been, we haven't been cooperating with ICE for years. And so for him to say it now, it's, like, oh, that's the law. I just, I'm bound by the law. Well, so is the Orange County Sheriff. And they're finding a way around it. They're keeping their citizens safe. And, you know, it's, it's a simple matter of, giving everyone's release date, making it public information. If it's public information, then the federal government obviously has access to it. And really, who cares if everyone knows when people are getting out of jail? 
I mean, th- that isn't anything, that's not secret. That's not, that's public information. Yep. So if you make it public information, you're not violating anybody's rights. You're not violating any laws. And it's a way for them to keep the community safe. Our sheriff doesn't do it. I mean, there's a, there's another red flag. I just don't understand why people want to protect the criminals. I, I, I mean, just from the, a common guy on ground level. Yeah. With you, a family. The, this you know. sanctuary state law, when you talk to people about it, it's all about emotion. There's no common sense. There's no fact. There's no reality involved in it. It's all about emotion. And people are, you know, oh, you're going to, you're going to separate families and you're going to, you know, you're going to do this and you're going to take grandma and you're going to just raid my house and, you know, all of these bad things. Law enforcement has no desire to do any. The Riverside County Sheriff's Department has no desire. I can't tell you the amount of, of, of residents of Riverside County that I've come into contact with in my career, 25 years. Never once have I asked anybody if they were legal here. I mean, I come across victims all the time. In my head, I know they're probably not legal. They, they don't speak any English, and I don't care if it's Spanish, Russian, you know, some type of you know, Persian dialect or any sure. type of any dialect. If, they, if, they, if there's no English, chances are, you would think, maybe, they mm-hmm. could not be here legally. I couldn't care less. Mm-hmm. But if you commit a crime, it's a crime. You break the law. Yeah you've completely put yourself in a different category than the guy just trying to make a living for his family. Yeah. He really is. You know, I come from a, a family of immigrants. My, my family came here from Italy. They didn't break laws. You know, they came here, they assimilated, they, you know, they, they learned the language. They, they wanted to be Americans. They wanted to do things right. Mm-hmm. And everything's all good. So I can't say I'm against, you know, immigration. And it, I'm not. Yeah. But you got to you got to do things right. I'm completely for the rule of law. Right. And you know, we have state law, we have federal law. Federal law, you know, the is is supposed to be upheld by the federal government. Mm-hmm. Uh we can as law enforcement officers do that also. Uh but we have to we, we at, at the same time we've got to have priorities. Uh I can promise the residents of Riverside County that I'm not going to be uh, you know, going in and walking down the street and picking up grandma and, you know, having her deported by ice. But if, you know, grandma's going to murder someone and then expect to get out of jail without being deported, well, a slap on that's the not going to, ha- yeah, that's not going to happen. Oh. You know, we've got to use common sense and safety. Man. Um,